Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of March reading. This may resonate, may not, may uh, resonate beginning of April, may already have happened, you know, the whole nine yards. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and then we are going to get right into that tarot deck. This card will be revealed at the end. There it is. This is for the sign of cancer. What do we have for the sign of cancer for the end of March? Positive messages, please. Oh, you may be uh, emotional, okay? You may be overly emotional, and, and emotions, they come in many forms, right? They could be, you could be angry, you could be upset, you could be crying, you could be not talking, you could be feeling withdrawn. I mean, that's what the meaning of this card is, reverse, somebody, um, you know, is detached at this time, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so this is either you or the person that you're dealing with. There is some sort of partnership here, but you are dealing with somebody who isn't probably focused on love because this is somebody that is not focused on love. All right, they're focused on everything, but they're focused on the roof over their head, their bank account, their job. It looks like somebody is restoring some control back in their lives, okay? Somebody is trying to, or they are trying to restore control, okay? After a period of loss, maybe somebody is has decided to go down a new path and find a new partner. That could be the case. Because it looks like somebody isn't communicating here in a partnership. There's a lack of communication, withdrawal, and detachment in, in a relationship. Okay, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is very hot-headed and stubborn and, you know, they're, they're definitely not, there's a lack of communication here. Um, and when they do speak, they may be speaking out their butt, okay, it's just saying things they shouldn't say. You have a lot of people here, okay? You do all the signs are here, so it could represent any sign. It feels like somebody is, you know, their intuition is telling them something. And I feel like their intuition is telling them to act on their hunches. Okay, here's your intuition. This is act on your hunches. I feel like there is an exciting new discovery, and it may not be all that exciting, okay? There is a new excitement. I mean, there is a new excitement. There is a new... Uh, opportunity here that I mean it could be exciting it could be there could be a new love opportunity for some of you all right that, that's full of passion for others there's a withdrawal okay there is a withdrawal here and I feel as though somebody is starting to restore some some control over their lives after dealing with somebody who wasn't reciprocating okay there's been some, maybe it's anger and bitterness okay so maybe you've been angry and bitter okay there could be some sort of reinvestment in a relationship after some argument or something okay it looks like there's definitely been some some bickering here some arguing 
and you know it feels as though there is some renewed passion though okay there's is some renewed passion so I'm not sure what this is but I feel like balance is being restored and your intuition is definitely telling you something so pay attention to that at this time um, it's really giving you the messages that you need to hear your intuition is giving you messages do not discount them okay just want to tell you that you I feel like there is some sort of new focus okay there's a new focus where you may be focusing in a different direction okay than you have been in the past maybe you know I feel like you've been with, withdrawn and maybe feeling a little detached but I think that is in the past I think that's you're getting over this period in some way it's like I see there's like a renewed passion perhaps to find love or to with a new partnership and it looks like I just want to get a card right here yes it's like there's a there's a strong commitment here okay or what uh, uh, somebody wants a strong commitment or they want to invest in this commitment so you know, it feels like somebody has been stalling, they've been procrastinating. But now it's a feeling of working together. You know, let's let's work on this. And I don't know what this is. This can go both ways. For some of you, there's an exciting new development here that could need, lead to a new partnership. If you're in a partnership, if you're coupled now and there's been some kind of upset... I think that there's been some sort of reinvestment. Someone has decided they really want to work on this commitment and they're putting in extra effort to do that. Okay, but I do think there's been some kind of arguing. Yeah, and there's like a renewed confidence here for both sides, for singles and couples. There's like a renewed passion as well. It's like, I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to hold on to this, whatever it was, whatever this argument was. If you're in a couple, I'm not going to hold on to it. If you're single, there's a renewed confidence to go out and find a partner or to have find or to be in a new partnership, okay? Yeah, it feels like this is a this is a happy week. I mean, this is like a wish fulfillment week where there's just a lot of happiness because people are coming together, you know, and seeing things through new eyes, okay? It just looks like it's very um there's a lot of growth here. Somebody has grown and they're they ha they're thinking positively, put it that way. This is a it seems like it's very positive. Just want to get this zoomed in. Yeah, so overall, I feel like there's like a renewed sense of confidence and focus. Like, I, I really want to work on this or I really want to, I have this new vision, okay? I have this new vision for the future and it feels like you guys are really taking action to let something go. And this could just be an argument. Okay, because the strength is letting go, okay? But it could be, you know, let go of the past as well because we have singles and couples here. So however this resonates with you. You could be receiving an invitation to an event if you're single. If you do, because this is an invitation, this is an event. If you do, I suggest you go, okay? Because you could meet somebody if you're single. And it could lead to a commitment and wish fulfillment. If you are in a relationship, I think, you know, there's a feeling of, let's work on this. I'll do whatever you, whatever it takes to make this work. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. There has been some sort of disappointment here. But I think somebody is overlooking that disappointment, like I said. They're overlooking the disappointment. Because they're committed. They're committed to working on this, whatever it is. Whether it's you are single and you're working on, you know, believing in yourself again and your faith is being restored to go find this new partnership. Or you're with somebody and you're completely committed and you want to work on it. This is exactly what this is. I mean, I almost feel like I don't need to go any further because it feels like this this end of March, it's about a commitment. It's like, I'm ready to go find a commitment. I'm, I'm full of passion. I've let go of this past hurt and I'm moving on. And for those of you that are in a couple, there's been some kind of disagreement, some kind of bickering, arguing. 
and lack of communication and now somebody has decided that they do want to invest in this and they're seeing it from a new light. Yeah, there may have been a third party situation here, I don't know. But it feels like... So this is going to go over here, thank God. This is like the... the, 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 the <laughs> The detachment, okay? This is the no need to celebrate. I think this is in the past where you were involved in a situation what made you feel really down, made you feel like you couldn't celebrate, made you feel like you had nothing to offer. And you know, there could have been a third party situation for some of you, and maybe that's over now. The Six of Pentacles reversed is a rejection of an offer right over here with this three of cups so I feel like I think it's the end of a, a situation here I do I do I feel like somebody has moved on from a situation could have been a third party situation and they chose you that could be the case or you have decided you're not going to be a part of that third party situation anymore and you drop that situation because there is an element of letting go this can go so many ways. So for those of you that resonates for, great. But I see that there is a rejection of an offer. Maybe it's because you're committed to something else. Yes, there's love here. There's a new beginning in love, or this is a reconciliation. If you're single, there's an opportunity to meet somebody at some event. If you get an invitation, I suggest you go. You could find love. If, uh, and definitely pay attention to your dreams and intuition at this time because they're trying to tell you something. If you are in a coupled relationship, I think there is some sort of reconciliation after a fight. And it feels like somebody's coming out of darkness. They're seeing the truth of a situation and they're restoring their faith. This is what is happening here. There is like a reconciliation here or a new love. So, you know, I'm not going to keep going because it's pretty much the same story. I don't need to keep repeating myself. There's a new vision. There's a new drive. It's like there's a, a refocus on love. Whether you're single or you're in a coupled relationship, there is a refocus on love where somebody has a renewed energy to either go find love or put work into a relationship. That's what this is. We're going to get this card. Ooh, dream talk. It's funny I mentioned dreams to you several times already, haven't I? Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. I love it when they do this. I really do. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. I told you, pay attention to your dreams. I've said it a couple times. And then this card, and I, I didn't see it. You saw it flip out the whole nine yards. Your dreams and your intuition are trying to tell you something. So I feel like you guys are listening. Because you're, there's a positive, this is a very positive reading. Okay? I think you guys are listening. There's some renewed faith. And if you're single... Go out to that whatever it is because you can meet somebody. If you're coupled, I see some sort of reconciliation after a fight. Talk to you later.